Hey everyone, Tim Moore here, Tim Moore Outdoors. I'm a uh, professional fishing guide here in New Hampshire. I'm out on Lake Winnipesaukee right now. I brought my snow dog out, it's just starting to snow. How fitting, but uh, I finally just about finished rigging my snow dog, getting the equipment, the, the things that I wanted to rig this the way that I want. It's been impossible this winter. I'm sure everybody knows what, what getting fishing gear and equipment has been like, but I'm just about completely finished rigging it, and I thought I'd give you a quick look at uh, how I have it rigged. Here we go. It's uh, definitely a fishing machine now. So I've been waiting on this Jaws of Ice auger rack. I have to put some new mending plates on it, some stronger ones. They're just not thick enough, those ones there. But I got some some uh, round U-bolts. The Jaws of Ice comes with square U-bolts and I wanted to go to this round pipe so I got some round U-bolts and I uh, coated them with with uh, rubber, plastic coat, plastic dip, whatever, and I uh, put the Jaws of Ice on there. One of the things I've been waiting for is a piece to, to put this ram ball on here because I want to be able to mount my Helix 9 for the GPS so I can see where I'm going I don't have to have anything on the handlebars. My my big thing with with rigging this has been keeping it compact. But anyway, I've got this. This is the mount that I use on my boat, and so I I put this mount here. I had to put some PVC around it, cut that PVC in half, and sandwich it on there just to make it thicker because the uh, mount will will not. Uh, it's too big for this bar. So, but that's rock solid now. I mean, you can hang on that. It's not going anywhere. Then on this side, I had an auger rack from a company called Allright, A-L-L-R-I-T-E, and it had like the gun gun uh, rack style racks that screwed in here and had wing nuts to tighten them down. And since I had it, I thought I would just get these. These are 3 8 16 um, eyes, and I, I screwed them in there instead I took the gun racks off. And then I can clip my... Uh, greenback. This is the greenback case from Lakewood Products, so I can carry that on one side. Because when I had just the auger on, on the one side there, one thing that I was noticing in deep snow or slush, the weight distribution was off a little bit, and it tended to list a little bit to one side. So now I have the weight balance. It's perfect, perfect place to carry that greenback. Uh, I'm about, I'm about four miles from from my launch point where I started, and uh, there's no snow left on the ice and uh, it went along pretty well. Another thing I did, I just did just before I came out here was I studded the track and I went with every other, so I did, I did the center one and then every other one I did the outside lug. So it's just a two, two and then one, two and then one, all the way around. That took me a little while and thank you to uh, Power Distributors they're the North American distributor basically for, for snow dog. They sent me a pair of sled skates. Well, uh, several pairs of sled skates. And those are these things here. And man, I cannot believe how well this sled tracks on this bear ice. So much better. That's the one thing that I was worried the most about is it sliding around on me. And tracks really nice. A couple of things that I'm going to do. One, I mentioned the new uh, thicker plates for those U-bolts. And uh, I want to put some kind of a strap across the back there. I'm not sure why they left that open, but it needs to be closed up. Uh, anything shorter than that bar uh, just falls right out of there and it's just no good. So um, that's the only thing left that I want to do. And I still love this machine. I'm super psyched to be out here with it. We are gonna lose our ice probably this week unfortunately I don't know we might we might be able to hang on to it it looks a lot better than I thought it would when I got out here so we might get another couple of weeks but I'm certainly gonna be doing some more videos with this stay tuned right now I'm gonna drill a hole and I'm gonna try to catch fish
perch, 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 perch. Oh. There he is. Oh, they're here. They are here, and they are thick. <laughs> oh, this was a good idea. Man, just brought the snow dog out. Oh, there's so many fish down here right now. Holy buckets. Brought the snow dog out and I just did a bunch of work rigging it. And I almost said, maybe I'll head back. And I'm glad I didn't. Because the perch are just stacked. Fish taco as it is. Get back down there, quick. Let's see if they hang around. Got him. Oh, it came off. Got him. It's a digger. We have a digger. Crappy weather, late March, mid-March, <laughs> it's not even late March. And uh, yeah, the white perch fishing is good today. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Porker, look at that. Yeehaw. That's four fish tacos right there. Let's see if they come back. Oh, they're still down there. Still there. Here they come. Yep. Got them. Oh, yeah. Another digger. This is a big one, I think. He's digging. Oh, there's a ton of fish down here. Yep, yeah, not a good one. Tank. Look at these nice white perch. Oh, swift one. There we go. This is a this is a big one. <laughs> This is a big one. <laughs> oh, there's a huge school of fish down here. There's another reason why you bring a friend. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many fish down here. <laughs> That's a giant, oh my god. Look at the size of that one. <laughs> that thing is huge. I'm gonna put it right there for a minute, get a picture. That one's going back down. I'm not gonna keep that giant one. I'd like to get one more fish while we're here. This is a white perch. This is a real white perch. Holy buckets. <laughs> Let me just 
tun oder? Giant. I almost lost him. Look at that one. Stud. Oh my god. I'm gonna get a picture of these two big ones and then get them back down quick. <laughs> 